Streaming live, this is News Nation Now. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Jisoo Ki. It is Friday, April 2nd. Here's your update. In breaking overnight, a train crash in eastern Taiwan has killed at least 48 and injured more than 100 people. The train had only partially emerged from a tunnel when it slammed into a vehicle on the tracks. Rescuers are still searching the wreckage for several people, officials said. The crash came on the first day of a four-day annual religious holiday where people travel to hometowns for family gatherings to pay respects to their ancestors. It's been an emotional week of witness testimony at the trial of ex-Minneapolis cop Derek Chauvin. Yesterday, George Floyd's girlfriend took the stand recounting how they met and described their shared battle with addiction. During responding paramedic testimony, the jury saw body camera video of Floyd being loaded into the ambulance and then images from inside. The paramedic said Floyd had no pulse when they arrived to the scene. They did chest compressions and gave him several drugs to try and start his heart, but nothing worked. And a former police officer said the force used against Floyd should have stopped sooner. The trial is set to resume this morning. You can get live updates and watch the trial online or on our News Nation Now app. A fourth stimulus check could lift an additional 7 million people out of poverty. That's according to a new study from the Urban Brookings Tax Policy Center. Researchers say the third stimulus check that was part of the Biden administration's American Rescue Plan will reduce the number of people in poverty by 11.4 million. The number of people impacted by a potential fourth stimulus payment would also depend on the timing of an additional payment being approved. Positive news on the vaccine front. The Food and Drug Administration has approved two changes to Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine that would provide extra doses from each vial. Now, the new vials can contain up to 15 doses each compared to the original 10. Also, the vaccine vials can remain out of room temperature for a longer period of time, from 12 hours to 24 hours. Moderna is expected to ship the new vials in the coming weeks, and nearly 100 million Americans have received at least one dose of a COVID vaccine. The company behind the so-called Satan shoes has now been ordered to take them off the market, at least for now. The shoes we told you about earlier this week were made in collaboration with rapper Little Nas X. Nike sued New York-based company Mischief, claiming the shoes which carry the swoosh logo infringed on its trademarks and that consumers believed Nike was involved in their creation. Mischief says the shoes are not typical sneakers, but individually numbered works of art. And trending this morning, you know what? A dog may be a man's best friend, but who's a dog's best friend? Well, for this lab mix from North Carolina, it's a purple stuffed unicorn you can see there. How cute. Sizu broke into a Dollar General store five times looking for that particular unicorn. After multiple attempts, employees called animal control. The responding officer bought the stuffed animal for him, saying, well, it's what he wanted. Sizu was taken to an animal shelter after the heist. And the good news, he's in the process of being adopted. Aw, love it. They're both adorable. We'll be back in an hour with more updates for you.